again in the dungeon. Wait, I said dungeon, didn't I? <laughs> you know, if I wanted to trap villagers, I would do so and make a dungeon for them. No, not a sex dungeon. That's, um, that's kind of weird. Don't, don't, never mind. Anyways, hi, I'm Canis. <laughs> we are going to continue on in this cave. Not a dungeon, but it could be, but not a dungeon. Not yet. But. Yeah, I'm here again. A little sooner than later. Mainly. That's why I have a spare. Anyways, mainly because, honestly, I've been wanting, I, I have felt like the Minecraft bug. Like, don't you ever get that? But like, you don't play Minecraft for like, maybe years <laughs> but you used to be into it and all of a sudden you just get that itch you're like ah man i i need to play minecraft i need to play minecraft i need to play it i'm really in the mood for it i want to play with friends i want to start a server i want to play on my own i want to do everything <laughs> and if you think about it since minecraft has been updating you know, giving us new content, but like, it's so incremental, it's so little. If you don't play for like a year or two, well, two years, let's say, or a couple years, however long, the game feels, I wouldn't say new, but a little updated, or ugh. it feels different, you know, different enough to where, different enough to where you want to play a more. Feels fresh. Um, how am I gonna get out of this hole? There we go. Oh yeah, um, after I did the last episode, I was just thinking, man, there's so much stuff in this cave. I just wanna get it all. I wanna reclaim it. Or not reclaim it. I wanna re- I wanna claim it. There you go. So much stuff I was missing out on. So much ore. Iron. Lapis. Diamonds. And gold here and there. Hmm. And hey, it's some good content. It, it, it seems like you guys are enjoying it. Given the fact that I don't um, record these videos too long. I think I'm figuring out the sweet spot of how long I should make these episodes. Back. talk about today. I, I was actually thinking about that too. I think I know what I could talk about. I have an idea. Uh oh. I got lucky? Yeah, I guess I did. Yeah, I got lucky. Oh. I want to know if you guys... Ever had, like, clutter in your mind? You know, sometimes you think so much about different things, it feels overwhelming. And... You don't even know what you're thinking, but you just feel like... It's stressing you out. It feels like it's too much to handle. Maybe you do know, but it's... You know, you wanna... You wanna, like, escape from it. You don't want to feel stressed out. You don't want to feel anxious. And sometimes what it is that is being stressed about is not even that bad. And sometimes, sure, it can be. No, that's not something I would take away from anybody. Stress comes in different ways. Anxiety is caused by different, you know, different ways. Personally, and anxiety is usually common. It's more of 
unpredictable future, we don't know what's going to happen. And we stress too much about it, which makes it difficult to live in the moment, doesn't it? I mean, it kind of does. But... <laughs> I don't know about you, but I like to think of myself as a bit of a... a bit of a clean freak. You know, I like my bedroom to be minimal, but optimal, you know, for, uh, comfort and, um, working, although it's best to keep, uh, work and leisure, comfort separate, well, have comfort in both areas, but leisure and work separate, but my bedroom is basically, you know, most of my life, as sad as that sounds. And basically my work is just this channel and Twitch, being a streamer, or streaming, which is uh, something I need to get back to, but I'm going to do that in the future. <laughs> oh, okay. No. Let me take care of this real quick. Ow. There we go. Oh, nope, not yet. <laughs> I think we're almost okay. I think we're almost okay. Let's see. I'm gonna get this creeper. We're good, kind of. Okay, spider. Now we're good. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, so what tends to help my mind when I'm thinking too much or when I'm stressed out or Funny enough, it's part of the reason why I tend to be stressed out or anxious, you know, dealing with anxiety or even depression. Part of it, and it's a big part in my opinion, um, has to do with the fact that my bedroom is messy. It's clean, it's unclean, it's not tidy, it's just, you know, I let it go to... You know, I let it get messy. So, one, I think it's beneficial in a way when you're cleaning your bedroom, or your home, or your apartment, whatever living space it is. It's good to keep it neat, keep it clean, maybe even keep it a little, a little minimal, however minimal you want it. Because if you have a clear room, a clean room and a clear room, you know, that's like, there's no trash everywhere or, um, <laughs> there's no trash everywhere or, uh, um, clothes on the floor, which, you know, I'm very much guilty of and that's normal, so long as you, uh, pick it up or clean it up, um, in a way, it gives you something to do, and it makes you feel accomplished. And just feeling accomplished, knowing that you're benefiting yourself, you're benefiting your, 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 your uh, making your living space a little better. You know, it's part of taking care of yourself. And that translates to loving yourself. You might start to feel a little better. You might start to think, hey... I know I was stressing about this or that earlier. I could do it. Maybe it's not so bad. You know, maybe the task might be major. It might be a big task, but we could take it one step at a time. Or the task isn't even that difficult. 
sometimes your minds, no matter how easy the work is, or how, no matter how easy the task may be, something in our mind stops us. Like, we just can't move forward. We can't push past it. In, in fact, we have to sort of, like, rational, rationalize or think um, in a way where we are making a deal with ourselves. Okay, I gotta do X, Y, and Z. Um, I'll do X. I'll take a 30-minute break. I'll do Y. Take another break. And then Z. Or... You know, um, once you're done with one task, you will treat yourself to like some food or something that you like. Or maybe you'll buy a game, I don't know. Eat. And I think that tends to help, you know, this anxiety or depression. Literally just cleaning your living space is one of them. And I'm not talking about, like, curing, because there's no cure for anxiety and depression, in my opinion. There's just a way of managing it. Because both, because both anxiety and depression is hardwired into our minds. It's meant to be there. It's part of, you know, what makes us human, no matter how much we don't like it. And learning to accept that and figuring out ways to have healthy coping mechanisms. You know, like first and foremost, um, if you feel depressed, um, make sure you take the opportunity to take care of yourself. Do things that you enjoy, you know, maybe treat yourself. Um, or talk to somebody. If you really need to vent to somebody. Oh, that was close. Come on. Ten diamond, not bad. And if you're anxious, if you're stressed, remember to just slow down. This anxiety is something that is rapid. You know? And it comes at you quickly. And it feels like you can't do anything, like you're stuck. Oh. <laughs> well, that means you have to take some time to just slow down, stop, and not stop thinking because that's really difficult to do. It's more of, um, try to slow your mind down to the point where you can, you know, quote unquote, stop thinking. <laughs> Not immediately, but it's more of like picturing just a void, whether it be darkness or light. You're only focused on your breath, breathing, inhale, exhale, holding your breath for a little bit. You know, being a little more self-aware of your thoughts. Hey, I'm thinking about this, and it's making me feel this way. Well, let's not think about that anymore. Let's focus back on the breath. I really hope I don't get lost. I think I got lost before, but I made my way out. So yeah, if you have a- if you are living in an environment that is causing you stress, um, causing you depression, causing you anxiety, do whatever you can, you know, within the means. And even if you feel like you can't do anything, there is always something that you could do. Even if it's just a little bit, there's always something. You, because sometimes having the mentality of, you know, that it's impossible to do anything, or having that mindset of, um, you know, 
being a doomer as I should as one would call it. It's difficult to get out of, I understand. But you need to sort of negotiate with yourself. Fuck yourself out of it. Figure out a way to um um incrementally know that you could do it. Know that you could change your environment for the better and in turn it will change yourself for the better you know making you feel a little bit more alive or happy or know or feel a little bit more at peace with yourself but yeah i uh i hope this helps and definitely i got the minecraft bug um and I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying this world. Like, I think I really did good when it came to, uh, the seed. Um. And yeah, the cave. The cave system is amazing. I think I got really lucky. And that might be a good sign, you know? It's not gonna... <laughs> I at least hope... Um. My content. At least, uh... Minecraft Let's Play is not boring. <laughs> I'm being a little meta for now, but... I, I'm pretty happy with this world. Oh. Ah, oh, more diamond. Yes. Give me more diamond. I like gold. I like diamond. So iconic. <laughs> Alright, I think it is this way that we have to get to. Oh, I might be making my way out, but depending on the time, I'm probably going to be doing that on the next episode. Actually, hold on. I want to get this iron. Leave no, um, leave no ore behind as I leave ore behind. <laughs> yeah, it was just calling for me. It's like, hey, don't miss, don't, don't miss me. Come mind me. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, I can't. I, I can't not miss you. I need to go. I need to get, you know, that little bit of iron. <laughs> We still have more up here. Oh, and more diamond. Oh my goodness. A lot of diamond. A lot of diamond we're gathering. Even got that lapis. Alright. So. Definitely on the next episode. I am gonna... Be heading out of these caves and I think that's gonna be it for now I do hope I bring something of value to you, you know that's one of my goals in this series and I do hope I brighten your day up just a little bit or your night make you feel a little less lonely so yeah just know you're amazing you belong in this world and whatever it is you got this. Take care.